Welcome back everybody, I'm the Blonde Fox, and today we're going to continue playing some more Ghostwire Tokyo. I am really enjoying this game, and I hope you guys are too. I, I really love the lore that we're getting to see so far, this game is just so good. But anyways, we're going to continue on with the main story. Last time we rescued a, uh, what was, what was her name again? I can't, I keep wanting to hit options to open that. I can't remember how to pronounce it, it was Zawashi, Zashiki Warashi. Yeah, we rescued her from the landlord that stole her and everything. Which is, I think she's a, a yokai that brings good luck, I believe. But yeah, so we're gonna continue on. Oh, finally this will open. Nope, it did. It tried to take my hand again. Uh, let's see. So, main story quest is this way. Oh, what's this? I'm sensing visitors. Oh, phone right booth. No way. They're here too. Use spectral vision to see what's going on. Okay, let's first start. I can tell you where visitors are lurking. Where fog is coming from. Okay. I want to talk to the Nakamata first. Hey, fellas. There's some things I'm looking for. Mind tracking them down for me? Oh, a handicraft Nakamata. Are we able to craft stuff? Hold on, pal. We're not running a charity here. Are you trying to shake down a cat? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I understand. I'll compensate you for your trouble. Promise. Now, let's get down to business, shall we? Oh, wait, so sometimes Nekamata will request that you track down traditional objects for them. Should you find these items and bring them back, you'll be rewarded in kind. I want to switch to a shop menu. In addition to making requests, this stall also sells valuable items. So wait, I just get lots of money for finding this stuff? Oh, and as I complete requests, I get different stuff. I can get Katashiro's outfits. Oh, that's cool. So I found... Okay, so they kind of give you a hint of where it's located, too. So I have this one. And I have this one. And I'm very close to getting that three Katashiro. Okay, this tells me which ones I completed. Okay, good, because it removes them. And then what do you sell? Whoa, KK's Investigation Notes 04. Some of KK's older investigation notes titled The Strange Case of the City Tengu. For some reason, these seem to be popular among yokai. Emote. Wind weaving. Usable in photo mode. <laughs> Strike a pose for selfies. The lead track from DJ Mold for his new travels. EP making exploring should be feel like a vacation to travel paradise. A cool biz outfit. Stylish business attire for a capable working man. And skinny jeans and flattering yet comfortable pair of jeans. We might have to come back here and buy some of this stuff. Because I don't know if I want to buy outfits just yet. But I, like I said in the beginning, I'm a sucker for uh, cosmetic stuff. So... Actually gonna turn in these spirits while we're here. Because it looks like we're about to get into some serious stuff here. Because this is the large shrine where we gotta do the three Tori gates instead of just the one, right? Spirits transferred. Experience gained. We're about halfway to another level. Okay. So let's see. Is that another There's Nekamatas all down here. Come on in. Wonder if they've got anything good. Takoyaki, ta no, 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 not takoyaki. Uh, taiyaki. Tired of fishing a tree filled the room with red bean paste. I've always wanted to try one of those. Uh, it's only 150. Let's just buy one. So, do all these stalls have nekomatas in them, or? Come on, let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I'm checking out the stalls. Okay, what do you do? Wonder if they've got anything good. You've got karage. I think is how you see that. Japanese style fried chicken served in a cup, and we'll take one of those. Any more nekomata? I see some gold that I'm gonna collect. There we go. Oh, and this is a convenience store. Maybe I'll buy something. Check the arrows. You've got to spend money to make money, so why not spend it here with Meow? Uh, yeah, let's restock all of our arrows. I want to buy two more of these, so we have 20 total. And then I think we'll call that good for now. There we go. Okay. What's that? 
around the corner, what's that symbol mean? Or is that just saying that there's a vending machine here? Oh, you can buy stuff from vending machines. Coca Cola. If I can't buy. Oh, I already have three. You can only hold three of each thing. Okay. Green tea, energy drink, vanilla clam, miso soup, and shiriko. Okay, cool. So you can buy stuff from vending machines. Okay, so let, let's get into the shrine area. Let's see. Okay, so do we just walk right up the front steps, or should we try to sneak our way in? Ooh, okay. Dang it, I totally didn't mean to do that. Okay, small hallway's not good for shooting. Come on. There we go, quick perch. Okay, I'm gonna crouch, actually, because I don't want to get snuck up on. I'd rather do the sneaking. Okay, trash cans. Yeah, I don't think there's anything over here. I can use this to get a little bit of a sky view. Okay. I'm really over here. But it looks like the first 20 gate is over here, right? Ooh, food. More food. Okay, I thought I heard something. Cleanse this gate. This gate is done, but we need the other two. Yeah, because it's still very corrupted. Oh dear. I probably should. I keep forgetting I can do like sneak, uh, sneak kills. There we go. Is that a watermelon? Another watermelon? I'm just gonna eat a whole watermelon. Gate this way, so we'll go this way first. Okay, I think she saw me, didn't she? Oh well. That animation doesn't get interrupted, though, if they hit me while I'm doing it. Okay, this one saw me. Great, it's one of these. Run and purge. Oh, and the Tory Gate's right here, so I might as well do this one while I'm here. I wonder if... You know, I wonder if I can sneak up on her first. Oh, dang it. Nope, nope, nope. There's a whole bunch of guys around here. I just saw the markers. Gate. Ooh, this one's got it. That one took a little while, actually. Hmm. I thought there was a marker thing here or something before. Maybe it was before I cleansed the gate. Or maybe it was just telling me to cleanse the gate, maybe. Let me see. Do a droplet to see. Yeah, there's nothing over here. Except some stuff that's destroyable. And, ooh, there's arrows in there, but I don't think I need any. Let's destroy that, because I'm, I'm low on wind. There we go. Give 
There's one last sweaty gate. Which is down this way. I have a bad feeling about this. What's this? What the hell is that? Golden tea bowl. A tea bowl used for Japanese tea ceremony coated with gold. I wonder if I can bring that to the Nekomata. Food. Can't see. Okay, no enemies, so we can just cleanse the gate. Come on, let me cleanse the gate. There we go. And gate cleansed. Fast travel, yes. Select a cleanse shrine or fast other fast travel icon on the map and press square to fast travel there instantly. Oh, thank goodness we got fast travel. I'm sensing a strong power. There's something here. Use spectral vision to search the entire shrine. The You'll entire shrine? Spirits left behind. Okay, so we gotta search the whole shrine. Let's see, so we said there's spirits left around here too. Okay, it wants me to go over there to the main part of the shrine, but I want to collect these spirits first. Okay, ooh, that was 500 spirits. That was a lot bundled together. Ooh, food. Okay, there's some spirits oh. back here. What's this? Omikuji effects. At shrines, you can draw paper fortunes known as Omikuji. These fortunes can be good or bad and will affect you accordingly. All effects from Omikuji are temporary. You can only have one Omikuji effect at active at a time, even if you find charms that allow you to maintain multiple buffs. Potential effects ordered from luckiest to unluckiest. Daikichi. For a limited time, XP rewards for defeating visitors will be tripled, and enemies will be unable to harm you. Oh, that's amazing. Kichi. For a limited time, damage inflicted by visitors will be halved. Chukichi. For a limited time, your HP will not decrease beyond critical level, excluding fog damage. Shokichi. For a limited time, the amount of mecha received from ether crystals will be doubled. Suikichi, the wind carries the faint strains of the Tokyo Bond Dance. I have no idea what that one means. Kyo, visitors bring forth nearby. Daikyo, your HP is immediately reduced to one. Best of luck. Okay, that... They weren't kidding when they said it ranges from really good to really bad. Well, here we go. Luck, 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 luck. What's our luck? Chukichi. Death remains elusive. Fear not illness. For a limited time, your HP will not be decreased on critical level. Sweet, so we can't die. That's useful. Okay, how do we get in here? Is there, is there like a door somewhere? Or... Oh, here's a door. I was like, there has to be a door. Ooh, there's a lot of stuff in here. Lockbox. Shinto Priest Weekly Report. Monday, August 16th. Prayer talismans out of stock, more ordered and on the way. Tuesday, August 17th, day off, finalized, shrine, seal, book, design. Wednesday, August 18th, perform two wedding ceremonies. Yoshima in the morning, Yasuda in the afternoon. Thursday, August 19th, meeting for a groundbreaking ceremony, also went shopping. Friday, August 20th, morning spent on work, warding off bad fortunes, deep cleaning in the afternoon. Saturday, August 21st, disaster readiness equipment inspected, disaster drill preparations finished. Interesting. Some more nigga that nether dongo. I can't carry any more arrows. What's this? Unlucky year chart. There are some ages in a person's life where misfortunes tend to befall them more regularly. Oh! During these critical years, which vary depending on a person's gender, as well as the years before and after them, it's important to be proactive in warning off bad fortune before it's too late. So find the critical years for both genders listed below. Critical years. Males, ages 25, 42, and 61. Females is ages 19, 33, 37, and 61. Care must also be taken at 24, 26, 41, 43, 60, and 62, and female 18, 20, 32, 34, 36, 38, 60, and 62. Please don't hesitate to contact us if you would like a consultation regarding prayers for your fortunes. Well, that's interesting. So basically for men, it seems like from ages 24 to 26, you need to be careful with 25 being the worst. That's interesting. Festival calendar, January 1st is New Year's Day. 
February 3rd, Setsunban, March 3rd, Hinamatsuri, October 16th and 17th, Autumn Festival, November 15th, Shichigo-san, December 31st, New Year's Eve. They really went all out, like, with all the, the, like, details and everything. Shiroyama Shrine Autumn Festival Notice. Date and time, October 16th to 17th, starting at 4 p.m. Location, Shiroyama Shrine. Come and enjoy a variety of food stalls and fun events. Parking will not be available on the shrine grounds, so please refrain from coming by car. Sponsored by the Tsukinami Merchants Association. Okay, let's see. Nothing. This is just a back door, so I think I gathered everything in here. Man, the noises the Tengus make are, like, terrifying. I know that they're not going to hurt me, but it's like, they're really creepy sounding. Okay, I think, is this the last spirits on the grounds? Let's see. Um, it looks like there's some more up there by the actual shrine. What was that? Oh, that's just something to break, I think. Okay. So yeah, I think I got all the other spirits that were on the grounds, though, right? Yeah, because there's none over that way. Yep, so it's just a big bundle of them over here. A whole bunch of bundle of them, actually. Sort those. I'll finish absorbing the spirits, and then I'll go enter the shrine. You're okay now. Got more arrows, which I don't need. Destroy some of that so I can get some of those back. Vacuum cleaner. Okay, and now we can oh, enter the shrine. What's this? Because that should have been everything. Offerings. When you make an offering of Meka, you'll be rewarded in proportion to the amount that you donate. Once you've confirmed the amount of Meka you wish to offer, you'll then choose a prayer to complete the process. Oh, okay. So I want to pray. Let's donate 500 Meka. Um, world peace. You know what? I wish I could find more Jesus statues. That was generous. Desperate times, you know? I wonder if that did anything. Did they, like, show up on my map or something now, or? Oh. Oh. Okay. Side quests. Lots of side quests. Um, oh, I think they might. I actually think it made some of them pop up on my minimap, maybe? Or maybe that's what I already found. I can't tell. Okay, what's this? I keep wanting to hit that to read stuff. Shrine request. The other day I ordered 10 katashiro from your shrine. I'd like to increase the order to 15. I apologize for the sudden request. I'll pay any additional fees you require. Ed Warren. Huh. Who's, are we going to get the fire warding stuff? A fire weaving, not warding. Oh, we can use this. Fire weaving. Fire weaving summons powerful long-range lances of flame. Charging the attack will transform the lances into balls that explode and can damage many visitors at once. Sweet, so we got... Basically a snipe shot and an area of effect shot on top of our rapid fire. Switching attack types. You can either use R1 to cycle through the attack elements or hold R1 to open your attack wheel. During combat, you can quickly switch between ethereal weaving elements as well as your bow or talismans as necessary. Oh, that's cool. So I can quickly switch by swiping well, right. left or right. That was worth the trip. Now to get some intel. Okay, I don't like the swiping. The touchpad doesn't seem to be as responsive as I was hoping. Oh, wow, we're getting more side quests. There is a lot of cycle. Oh, this is gonna be so cool. Can you think of a place where we can see all of Shibuya? Can use the right side. the Kageri observation deck? Yeah, that'll work. If the side quests are like the ones we've already done, they're gonna be really cool because they're like really lore heavy. Oh, there's you actually one right here. Guard dog. Did you used to be a cop? Sure was. Why? Hate cops. No, no, no. It's just that you're a little rough around the edges. <laughs> That's what the work does to you. So he was a cop. Tanuki. Is it trying to it's tell a, us something? It's a Tanuki. Psst. Hey, boyos over here. You can understand me, right? Fantastic. 
Listen, fellas, I can see you ain't just some run-of-the-mill chump, so let me lay something on ya. Me and my crew came here from Sumoto to take in the sights, but then all hell broke loose and we got separated. I'd get it myself, but my back's been a real pain in the back. Can you go hunt him down for me? Be in Tanuk, they'll have shapeshifted into something or other, but I'm sure you'll find him. Once you do, tell him to get their furry butts back to the boss, pronto. Lost Tanuki. A gaggle of Tanuki recently trekked to Tokyo, but then got but then up and got themselves lost. Their boss needs your help finding them, so keep your eyes peeled for these crafty critters as you make your way through Shibuya. Keep a wary eye out the seat you're sitting on, that big bowl of ramen you're about to tuck into, the conspicuously out-of-place road sign you spotted, they could all be transformed to Nuki in disguise. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Hey, I think there's one right under our darn noses. Look for something at this here shrine that ain't- that's got a tail sticking out of it. Oh, okay, so their tails stick out. Once you find them, come back here and let me know, you dig? Cool, cool. So there's one he said around here. So it's an object that has its tail sticking out. Aha! Hehe. <laughs> oh, you found me. Pretty sure by you got for a human. What's that now? The boss is looking for me? Wouldn't you know it? I was tracking his scent and had just about found him. Then I smelled human nearby, so I figured I'd better hide. And now here we are. Thanks for the update, chum. Time to get back to the boss. Oh, cute little tanuki. I got karate form emote. Thanks a million, boyo. Now I'll leave you to find the rest of my boys. Once you find them all, come to that big hill way up north. I'll be meeting my boys at that shrine up there. Tokyo's a big city, like huge big, so no big deal if you got to take your time sussing them out. Okay, so Tanuki Hunt. And there's another side quest over here, too, and some food. I might as well pick this one up, and then we probably better get turn in our spirits. Please, you gotta help me. I was going to get all the rest of this shrine with the red off. And then, right after that, I got into an accident and died. It was cursed. First its hair goes out. I try to get rid of it, it comes back to me. Creeps me out. It's even stopping me from passing on. I'd still be alive if it weren't for that thing. He won't track me down, but give me his last rites. What kind of doll are we looking for? It's a traditional Japanese doll. It belongs to my sister. That doll. Must be something inside it. We should be able to track its residual energy. Oh, okay, so we can track stuff? Oh, that's right, we can by doing this. Duh. Right there. Psychic trail. Creepy little doll. Oh, is it gonna go down an alleyway? I can't go through there. This way's not gonna work. Gotta find another. If I would say if there was a tengu, I could go up and over the building. Is there an alleyway nearby? Ooh. I can't carry any more nether drinks. Darn. Ooh, spirits. Is this not the alley where that doll was at? No, I don't think it is. Right? But why would a regular old doll be able to fly anyway? Don't know. Oh. Could be possessed by a dead killer. <laughs> you watch too many bad movies. <laughs> yeah, I'm a DVD addict. Huh? Oh, crap. Streaming? 
the hell? Come here, you. Ooh, these hit hard. Yep, fire definitely hits hard. There we go. Oh wait, is that how it works? So you swipe. I gotta get used to that swiping, but it is definitely faster to swipe. Drip drop. Okay, I thought this would be a shortcut. There we go. It kind of was. Are we getting close to the doll yet? Is this thing just running all over the place? Seriously? Okay, there's the Tengu up there. I'm gonna grab these money pots real quick. I'm hitting L2 and X. It's like... There we go. That was weird. Oh, platforming. Okay, I tried to jump and glide, but it didn't work. Sometimes the jump doesn't seem to want to work. Hmm. Probably because I'm trying to double jump instead of just holding X when I jump. Oh dear. Dang it, she wasn't down long enough, I don't think. Woo! Fight, but oh well. Get a rice ball. Get after it. You're quick. I know. I'm still chasing the stupid thing. Just still got no clue where this thing is going. What's this? Break that for some more energy. Great. Going higher and higher. I don't know where this thing is taking us. Okay, that was creepy. There it is. What? Did that doll just talk? Look, that straw doll there is definitely cursed. I guess we should cleanse it then. Okay, so do I just hand seal? Up, left. Okay, so it goes. Here we go. Thank you so much. Because we were using that straw doll to curse my brother. Your brother? That guy we met back at the shrine? Yes. I always did my best to keep him safe from it. But once we got separated, I couldn't protect him anymore. Okay, so it wasn't a possessed doll in the sense of, yeah. Well, that's cool. Now to tell that guy at the shrine what happened, and give him his doll. Wait till he learns that the doll isn't what killed him. Yeah, it was the exact opposite. 
That's really sad. I can fast travel, right? Because I don't want to have to try to walk back there. We got really far away. Yeah, holy crap. Um, right? That's where we're supposed to turn it in at, right? It was this one. Fast travel. I think that's like one of the first loading screens we've actually seen. Okay, it's right over here. Um, hello. Hey, Craig, you found the dog. Thank you so much. No time to waste. Let's burn the creepy thing and be done with it. Actually, it turns out your sister's spirit was inside that doll. Someone was using a straw doll to curse you. Your sister had been protecting you from its influence the whole time. Wait, what? Are you telling me I got in that accident because... You tossed the only thing keeping you safe. I don't believe it. So she was there with me all along. Looking out for me and protecting me. Oh. But I treated her like garbage. What a sweet child. Forgive me. You should be able to move on now, thanks to your sister. She already went on ahead. Once she knew you were safe. Thank you so much for everything. Save it for when you see her on the other side. Aww. That was really sweet. A halfway decent job. Ooh, spirits. Okay, and this went a little longer than expected, but we're gonna go ahead and call it here because I wanted to finish that side quest. I wasn't gonna leave it in the middle of that. But yeah, so we're gonna call this part here. Next time we'll start doing more side quests because we got a lot, I think we got like six side quests to do now. And they're so interesting. I'm really enjoying this game and I hope you guys are enjoying watching me play it. So yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like the video, remember to like it. Comment down below with your thoughts and opinions. I look forward to hearing from you guys. And remember to subscribe if you wanna see more from me in the future. Until next time, see ya.